Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG, your number one channel for gaming news. <laughs> it's funny, we just finished not long ago talking about the report of Bobby, Bobby Kotick telling investors in an annual earnings call that Activision Blizzard had just made its biggest income year yet, bringing in more money than ever before. We all remember in that same earnings call that he told investors they would be laying off approximately 8% of the staff, which is, give or take, 700-something-something people, almost 800 employees. Uh, their justification for this? We're just cutting the fat so that we can invest more in our developers. To them, the fat was uh, customer support, contractors, uh, in-house support systems. Basically, if you weren't a developer, you were fair game. And everyone has just realized the stupidity of this. They're basically shooting themselves in the foot to give them short, a short-term injection now. That's, okay, I've just ruined a perfectly good analogy or metaphor, but the point is, back when Nintendo was having money troubles, they did not start firing huge swaths of people for a quick infusion of cash in order to tide them over for a few months. No, the CEO of Nintendo did, stepped up and he did a great thing. He cut his own salary in order to pay dividends, in order to keep employees. Meanwhile, Bobby Kotick is like, nah, let's get rid of these guys. Meanwhile, Activision Blizzard is not expected to have anything good or meaningful come out in the year of 2019. There's nothing on the horizon for them. Uh, Bungie is gone, taking Destiny with them. Overwatch is Overwatch. There's nothing really new there. World of Warcraft has got, what, World of Warcraft Classic? I'm pretty sure Activision Blizzard has come to realize just how stupid this decision to fire these 800 employees is because it's March 2nd now as of the recording of this video. Back on February 28th, just two days ago, Activision Blizzard filed their annual Form 10K report. A 10K report is something that all companies are required to file every year with the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, where they state their expected performance for the coming year. Basically, it's the company telling the government, how do we think we're going to do in a way and what could affect our future projections. This comprehensive summary of a company's financial performance is something that is published, it's public, everyone can see it. And after taking a look at the document, there's just some stupid stuff in there. I mean, they are constantly quoting throughout the thing that uh, these layoffs that we've just done could negatively impact our business that if we do not consistently deliver popular, high-quality content in a timely manner, or if consumers prefer competing products, our business may be negatively impacted. That basically sounds like they're stating the obvious. I mean, really. Uh, I didn't take the time to actually count how many times the words negatively impact came up in the document, I read it through, but didn't actually count that. Thankfully, PC Gamer did it for me. The term negatively impact happens 48 times in the document. And it's just hilarious that they really need to think about it and put it and actually put it in a government document. Oh, yeah, well, it turns out that uh, firing all those people, it's not going to do well for us in the long run. Who knew? Everybody. Everybody knew. In effort to impress investors, you damaged your company long term. I mean, who in the right mind is going to want to work at Activision Blizzard now? Uh, someone who is going to will have to worry about long term stability for them and them, their family? I'm sure many of the Folks working at Activision Blizzard may have potentially relocated for their jobs. I mean, it 
it's not just customer service people that you hire off the street. It may have also been community managers. It may have also been uh, mid-range office managers. Those are positions that people have to interview for and sometimes relocate for. You don't just move across the country if you're a developer moving to uh, Bioware Montreal or Bioware Edmonton, yada, 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 and it's, oh my gosh, big, uh, big demand for my services. No, even office managers is something that's a desirable. A named, good named office manager who has experience running multiple teams is someone who can be drawn in and seen as a valuable resource. Middle management is one of the most valuable things out there. High-powered executives are dime a dozen, but now they, Activision Blizzard realizes that they've damaged themselves in the eyes of their consumer, and they may have potentially uh, poisoned the well, so to speak, against them. I mean, granted, people are going to be looking for jobs in the future no matter what, so I'm sure they're going to get someone, but you can't tell me that this doesn't negatively impact them in some way. And really, the whole industry is starting to feel the heat. I mean, ArenaNet laying off people, EA laying off people, all because of bad business practices. So I just found it interesting that Activision Blizzard is self-conscious and self-aware and knows that their decisions could negatively impact their business, but they're willing to do it anyway because a blip in their future earnings is nothing compared to the confidence they get from showing off for their investors. I don't think that's good business. So thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG, guys. Thanks for listening. If you liked what you heard, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you don't like what you heard, subscribe anyway. That way you can get my video updates whenever I post and you can rant at me all you want in the comments. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. We are currently at 96 subscribers, almost to that one, that big milestone, that big 100. So I'm looking forward to reaching it, and I'm looking forward to working together with you all in the future. Thank you all very much. Have a good night, y'all. Hey there. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.